Most of the time, us men don't get the girl that we want. We're awkward and introverted. If we do somehow get someone, we feel like that we're settling. You ultimately want better. In today's video, you'll learn the six strategies to get the girl that you want. It will be wise to put all six into practice. Let's get into it. The first tip is to have women as friends. Your female friend is someone that you don't have a sexual interest in. Most guys are against having female friends because they believe women and men can't actually be friends without having sex. Your female friends have access to other other women, which is a gold mine. You know the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. The same applies here. Your woman friends have trusting relationships with other women and trust with you. If you see someone that you like, ask your friend to hook you up with her. She will put it in a good word. The next tip is to be different. Like a brand, you want to stand out. You want to separate yourself from all the other guys or else you'll fail. Extremely attractive women or women with money have had tons of men approach them and try to date them. What most men do is shower these types of women with words and gifts when they first meet her. Too many compliments will push her away. You'll look cringy. Being nice or over complimentary doesn't mean being agreeable. Buying big gifts will make her feel like you're trying to buy her attention. She's not going to look at you differently because she gets treated like this by everyone else. Don't treat her like a fan and put her on some imaginary pedestal. Treat her like a human being. Laugh and joke with her. It builds rapport. Be honest. Don't just tell her what you think she wants to hear because you think that you'll lose her. I'm not saying to be mean or rude, but don't lie about your feelings or thoughts. Focus on building a life. When guys don't have things going on, they're always available. They get a text and delay their response for a month because they don't want to seem too needy. They let too much time go by and they end up losing a woman because they were fake busy. Or men will go in the opposite direction and make the woman they just met the focal point of their life. They treat them as if that they're the only good thing in their lives. Too much presence suffocates, too much absence you're aloof. You have to balance between being absent and being present. The best way to do this is to focus on building a life. Balance between having a career, spending time with loved ones, and doing fun activities like joining a kickball league or trying a new restaurant. This touch of coldness signals that you can do without other people. It tells her you respect yourself, which heightens your value in her eyes. It makes her want to get to know you. When she sees that you're having fun, she will want to join you. I'm not telling you to wait a month before you ask her out or refrain from telling her your true intentions. What I am saying is when you first first meet her, don't act like she is the most important person in your life. Another thing you can do is to get in the gym. Sign up for an affordable monthly membership or workout at home. You can do yoga, cardio, or strength workouts. Cardio workouts focus on increasing breathing to boost heart health and increases it for a longer period of time. Cardio includes running, biking, and swimming. Cardio focuses on stamina. Yoga is a mind and body practice that can build strength and flexibility. It helps reduce pain and manage stress. It combines physical postures, breathing techniques, and meditation. Strength workouts are physical exercises that build muscle, makes you stronger, and increases endurance. It could be from your body weight, weight machines, medicine balls, resistant bands, or dumbbells. If you want size, do less reps but heavier weights. If you want lean, do more reps but lighter weights. As you burn fuel, you'll want to eat better, not less. Working out and eating better foods puts you in a better mood and people will be drawn to you. Groom daily. Shower every day. Wash your body parts thoroughly. If you have a bald head or beard, shave before or after you shower. Get your hair cut regularly. Put some cologne on after you shower to feel fresh and clean. Buy perfume cologne. The smell will last longer on your clothes since it's oil based. Buy some new clothes, an article of clothing once a week or once a month. Go to the clearance rack if you need to. Keep them clean. Buy new sneakers or shoes once a week or once a month or twice a month. Don't just buy a few pair of shoes. You'll quickly wear them out and you'll have to buy another pair. Buy as many as you can afford. Buying a lot of shoes will save you money in the long run. Look for the sales. Make it a habit of grooming yourself every day. You can't demand respect from women. By respecting yourself, your actions will naturally command respect. Focus on her character, not just her looks. Too many times men are mesmerized by a woman's fame, status, looks, intelligence, or money. What we see is the person's mask. We mistake the mask for who she really is. There's an internal dialogue that says, I hope that she likes me. We get in a relationship with this person and we find out three months from now she's a maniac. Enmeshed in her chaos, it's hard to get out. When you finally do leave, it takes you years to recover from. What you want to do is to focus on her character not just her looks. You have to have standards to see if you like her. Working this way, you'll avoid relationships that will make you miserable. Your confidence will go 
show up when you stop acting like she's interviewing you for the job that you want. If you treat her like a human being, she'll like you even more. What you need is a filtering system to judge people. You need to figure out what character traits to look for in that person outside of status, money, and looks. Here are some things to look for. How does she handle stress and responsibility? What does her past relationship patterns look like? Can she handle chaos without being overly anxious? How did she learn from her negative patterns and toxic behaviors? Does she know how to fall back temporarily from her own personal interests because she knows what works best as a couple will make life better and easier? Does she give up too easily? Does she keep her word? Is she open to new ideas and new ways of doing things without compromising her principles? Is she patient? Is she persistent and consistent? These are the qualities of a good woman. Treat her like you just found gold because she's rare and hard to find. Understand, no one is out of your league. Your confidence just isn't where it needs to be. Women are not gods or unicorns. They are only one thing, human beings. The media has convinced you that a woman with status, looks, and money is a person of strong character. But status, looks, and money doesn't mean anything if that person has a weak character. Enjoy her company, not just how good she looks. Trying to convince yourself that someone with a weak character will somehow change, you're setting yourself up for failure. Now that you understand what you need to do to draw women to you, you have to take it a step further and practice on lowering her defenses, which is the key to influence. She's not going to do what you say just because you're you. Make sure you click this video if you want to learn how to lower her resistance the right way.